Hi, you're watching Petadendron. In today's video, I'm back at one of OC's hidden gems, Succulent Mimi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Patrick and I'm a houseplant collector, enthusiast, hobbyist, obsessionist. <laughs> And I upload every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So, if you want to see how I grow my collection and keep my plants happy, then you should definitely hit subscribe. In today's video, I'm super excited to be back at one of my favorite places. I'm literally a kid in a candy store every time I come here. And <laughs> I met Succulent Mimi. I, I'm already like little looking at all the plants. So I'm excited to show you what she has in store. Like her stock changes constantly because she's just like always importing and selling all these really cool cacti. So buckle up and uh, <laughs> cause you're in for a ride. Let's check out all the plants. All right, back at my favorite, <laughs> one of my favorite places. Every time I'm here, I'm like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> to start. So I guess we'll start here. So she has some booby cactus, uh, the Myrtillo cactus, Geometrizans, Fukuroku Ryuzinbo, Ku, <laughs> always such a mouthful. And she has these. These are so cool. These are Eulichnia castanea spiralis. She has a few different um, sizes. And I am so in love with these. I love the colors. So these are the Gymnocolisium horstii variegata. And they're so cool. I'm loving that pink and yellow variegation. And I imagine this in a pink pot. Oh, that'd be so cute. And these are huge. They're like the size of my head. <laughs> and this is called the Gymnocalisium baldianum, crested. Super cool one to have too. Check out this Euphorbia abdelkeri. That is such a cool cactus. And it's on this rootstock grafted. That is such a cool looking Euphorbia. Never seen one like that. So pink. And these must be the Astrophytum Mirostigma Anzon Crested. Such an interesting looking plant. Looks like a rock. And if you're new to this channel, I love like really weird and odd looking cacti and succulents so this place is awesome like this 
That's cool to see the actual base of the plant. And these look more like the um, Eulichnia castanea spiralis, maybe, but just a little bit more juvenile. So here they are again in their mature form or whatever, <laughs> but I'm obsessed with them. And these are 150. They're really tall. I'd say they're about a foot and a half, maybe, to even maybe two feet tall. 24 inches. <laughs> and here are the Lenore Dean Echeverias. I always, I had no idea that the Compton Carousel and the Lenore Dean are, I think they're the same cultivar, but they're really beautiful. And here are more of the crested um, mirror stigma. I'm obsessed with these obesa, euphorbia obesa clusters. They're so cute. Look at this one. I bet these would grow beautifully, you know, once they get really big. I like seeing um, obesas in clusters, especially when they're huge and stressed, sun stressed. So beautiful, so cool. And look at these astrophytons. They're so cute. I'm going through a big astrophytum phase. <laughs> Kick. I don't know. I'm I'm loving him right now. And she's got some more assortment of Echeverias. I love those over there. So these are one of my favorite cultivars right now, and it's the Echeveria linguis. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful and weird. <laughs> right up my alley. And she's also got some Euphorbia white ghosts in. These are nice, a nice size. Beautiful variegation. These Hawarthias are super cute. Especially that one. I wonder how much these are. I'll have to check. Actually, they're all really cute. I'm loving the geometrical shapes. The texture and the geometrical shape of that one, though, is like really interesting. But I also love Haworthias that look like glass, you know? Kind of that, like, opaque glass. <laughs> They're such pretty plants. And this, I think it's an aloe too, but it's super cool. I love the spikes on it. And I'm loving these variegated Haworthia truncatas. These are so cute, so tiny but this white variegation is something else. Oh wow, see that's almost like a, a half moon. <laughs> Haworthia style. Love. And these look like larger clusters of the Echeveria Lenordine. Such pretty variegation. And these Aeoniums, I think they're the Mardi Gras Aeoniums. 
I love that color. See, when these grow to be huge, I think this will be so beautiful and so impressive. And these are so cute. These, these Astrophytum Kikos are one of my favorites right now. Look at this one, it's blooming. So excited, mine's about to bloom. It's such a cute shape on the Astrophytum. And I don't know what these Astrophytums are called, but they're also very cool. I'm loving that texture. And as I said earlier, look at this variety of super cool desert plants. I am literally like a kid in a candy store every time I come in here. <laughs> um, I like to joke and call me me my crack dealer. Wow, look at the beautiful variegation on this astrophytum. Some more variegated Haworthias. Love that. And these cute pink moonstones. Wonder how much those are. Oh yeah, and I love my variegated fairy castle cactus. It's so cute. I got mine from here. <laughs> oh, here is that Euphorbia monodinium richii. The, I think, white vi variegation. I have the yellow one, and that one turns like a bright pink from sun stressing. It's so pretty. Hmm, these are interesting. And I always forget to look up usually but here I tend to forget to look down. <laughs> look at these. These look like little candies. Well, the moonstones remind me of um, Jordan almond, almonds. <laughs> these are really cute. Some more of these really cool Haworthias. I wish I knew the different you know, species or cultivars. But I'm not there yet. I'm getting there with Haworthias. And wow, if you want a spiral cactus, look no further. There's a bunch here. And if you want booby cactus, <laughs> look no further because there's a bunch here. <laughs> They're so cute. And here are one of my favorites, the Semper Vivum. I love its growth pattern and also kind of that like cobweb look. Ooh, 
check out these echeverias. They look like they're glowing. I'm lo loving that like hot pink glow. So pretty. And the slight variegation on these astrophytums are so cute. I'm loving like that hot pink ridge. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> That one's so cool. That one's huge too. Here's my hand. Well, I guess that doesn't really do much for size. <laughs> Ooh, look at this Sansevieria. These are another genus that's like sparking my interest. Peaking my interest, sparking my fashion fascination. <laughs> These are Areocarpus, and they're so cool. I'm loving like the fuzz in the middle. I don't know, it's just a, such a unique plant. This is like one on my wish list. I think these are $60 though. However, I know that Areocarpus generally is pretty pricey. I've been pricing them out and I've been seeing them for like triple digits, so. I'm gonna have to think about it <laughs> still. Oh, wow, that one's interesting. I found another Haworthia. Look at this one. This one's beautiful. This one has the glass look and it's pink. That might have to be my favorite Haworthia here. But I just saw these. <laughs> And these are really cute too. I'm loving like the shape and the variegation on this. This has like even more of that opaque glass look that I find so fascinating. Let's not forget to look down because she has variegated Hoya compacta. So I got my Hoya Mauna Loa from here and it's doing just fine and the Hoya Mauna Loa is the Hoya Compacta but the variegation is on the inside and these are the outside variegation so it's almost like the this would be like the Hoya Carnosa Crimson Queen version of the Compacta and I have the Crimson Princess version <laughs> These are pretty, pretty long. So I just asked and they are 25 to 45. So the longer strands are 45 and the shorter ones are 35, which I think is pretty good. Generally, when I see these out at nurseries, I see it for around 45 for a short one, but it's already potted. And these are really easy to kind of acclimate and establish from my experience. I don't want to jinx myself because I'm still in the process, <laughs> but I just wanted to grow and establish the root ball on mine because it was that tiny and the strand that I got of the Hoya Mauna Loa was super long so I have that in a dome in my greenhouse 
and it's living its best life. I'm seeing, you know, tons of root growth on it. And yeah, the leaves are nice and plump and waxy and solid. Okay, I'm talking myself into this one. <laughs> the more I sit and stare and explain to you guys whatever I'm doing right now, <laughs> the more I am like entranced and enticed with these Hoya. Okay, moving on. She is Euphorbia obesa central right now. These are huge. These are pretty much like the size of baseballs. It's a lot bigger than the one I have. But I really want the cluster. <laughs> the cluster is so cute. Look at these tiny little variegated babies. Oh, and it's about to bloom. Love me a blooming cactus. And look at these little super kabuto. They're Astrophytum asteria, asterias. Super kabutos. and they all look different. I have one and I can totally see why I would collect more because they all look different <laughs> and they're all so cute. More of these cute. I think these are astrophytums too. And if I can read backwards, because the sign is facing the other way, they're $25 to $40 by size. And more of these Aeonium Mardi Gras. I feel like they're going to be showstoppers once they mature. <laughs> oh, and look at this variegated astrophytum. That one's super pretty. Isn't that cute? So all of the beautiful potted plants that might look like they're a part of her private collection are actually for sale and everything here is for sale oh look at that like planter that's a cool one she's lucky though that she gets to enjoy all these plants while they're here <laughs> until they do so let me show you something that caught my eye i think this is an astrophytum kiko but it's very Look at that, the pink splashes. I'm kind of scared to ask her how much that one is. <laughs> Look at this bloom. Beautiful. And then I'm also drawn to this Euphorbia obesa, just because of how big it is. I wonder how many years old that one is. I don't know, I'm loving that cluster. That's what I'm thinking about, the obesa cluster. Do you guys see anything that you would want for your collection <laughs> let me know in the comments Haworthias the Haworthias are beautiful today they're beautiful every day but they're especially beautiful to me today 
<laughs> and these look like such a party. That pink and yellow variegation and then they bloom. I think this one blooms like bright pink flowers. I honestly couldn't stop thinking about it last time I was here. I passed it up and all day I couldn't stop thinking about it. But I was like, you know what, Patrick, let it go. <laughs> you can't have every plant. But I want every plant. And let's go down this corridor of magic. <laughs> Whoa. Now that is a giant Haworthia. That is so cool. That's in about a, maybe an eight or 10 inch pot. So you can imagine how huge that is. After seeing some of like her really interesting and unique cacti, these totally <laughs> look like normies. <laughs> Still pretty though. Oh look, see? Love them when they bloom. Like that. Ooh, look at this juicy crassula. I wonder what that is, if it's just like a, a very big moon glow. Moon glow crassulas are so cool. And the variegated ones are even cooler. Oh, wow. Talk about cool. Is that an Areocarpus too? Oh look. She has a three ridge astrophytum. And this one is labeled $60. And Echeverias are, you know, I've always had them because they're so easy to grow and propagate, but I have like a newfound love and like mega appreciation for the genus. <laughs> I've been finding some really cool ones like this is beautiful. The Echeveria Beyonce. I'm obsessed. <laughs> Echeveria Best Baits is another really cool one. Wow, this one's huge. This one's 350, as you can see. But it is beautiful. Someone left their shoe. <laughs> it's another cool cactus. Those bright um, variegated aloes are really pretty too. These are Euphorbia amac variegatas. That is cool. Ooh. So these are Victoria Regines, but their variety is the white rhino. And 
These are really cool, but they're also really pricey. It's like the variegated Victoria Regine. I'm gonna say the same thing that I do for a lot of plants. It's so cool. <laughs> it really is, wow. And, oh my gosh, I need this. But I know, I just know that I have no business spending that amount of money on that. Well, I just know that I shouldn't. <laughs> so I'm scared to ask how much, but I think, I think I will just, just for you guys. Oh, look, it has a little offshoot. Wow, I feel like that's a really good price. This one's super tall and the price says 160. The pot on this is really cute too. It has the feet and the plant. Oh my gosh. And there's another spiral. Ooh, that's a cool looking cactus. Whoa, these are interesting. What a fun little arrangement. I love gnomes. <laughs> and that's it. Wow, just when I thought that was it. <laughs> I turn around and I see this beast. This one's 250. It's actually kind of less than I expected. And look at this. Oh, it's sold, but we can still admire those blooms. Oh, well, once they do bloom, they're gonna be spectacular. And I think that they're gonna all open up at the same time, which is amazing. That's so cool. It's a huge, oh wow. This is a cool cactus, for sure. Oh, and I think this is an Echeveria setosa. It's so fuzzy. Oh, I love it. It has really pretty flowers too, because mine's blooming at home and it's this like bright, oh, bright pink and like bright yellow flower. I can't stop staring at it. Oh, look, here's a little baby white rhino. Oh, it's so cute how it has that pink sun stressing at the bottom. I want to ask how much that is too. Oh look, I just asked and that price tag just appeared. <laughs> oh, that's because there's two. I was looking at this one. So the smaller ones are 250, but you know the bigger ones that I showed you earlier? 
these guys, they're 800 and 1,000. But it's huge. See, I told you these white rhinos were pricey. <laughs> That's cute. That looks a little more affordable. <laughs> Love it here. Wow, this is an interesting form. It almost looks like like the HP tent <laughs> at Coachella. <laughs> I do miss going there. <laughs> Fun fact, I've gone for 18 years. And the last two years were the first two that I did not go. To Coachella, that is. So, I'm just buying plants now. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that is everything at Succulent Mimi's right now. Oh, wow, that's another cool one. This one's 35. Wow, that's a giant Haworth, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, so I just asked how much this, these are, <laughs> and this large one is, I think she said 650 or 600. But it's so cool. And, you know, there is a market out there for this. <laughs> because she's already sold one. I just want to kind of like stare at it because I don't know when I'll ever see one again. It's a cool looking cactus. Wow, look at this blue. I think that is a death bloom if I ever saw one. One last hurrah. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And I think this is from a Semper Vivum. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me as I shopped here at Succulent Mimi. I had so much fun. She had so many cool plants. I hope you guys found something to maybe add to your wish list. If you did, let me know what you guys like in the comments. Um, and either way, I hope you had fun because I sure did. Uh, if you like this video, you know what to do. Wow, I killed the rhyme on that. <laughs> Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to support my channel and see more of my plant videos, which I hope you do, please hit that subscribe button and I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye.